One day, I received a brief from a client asking me to create a thumbnail about how Disney secretly controls the world. They even included a sketch of the idea they had in mind. In today's video, I'll be taking you through the entire process of how I created this thumbnail. As always, you'll find the PSD file along with all the assets linked in the description below. So let's jump in and get started. The first thing I'll do is generate an image using AI, and the best option I've found is ideogram.ai. This site lets you create images similar to Midjourney, but for free, which is something you don't usually get with other image generators. Just to be clear, this isn't sponsored. Once I'm on the website, I'll log in with my Google account so I can start generating images. After that, I'll write something like an image of Mickey Mouse holding the earth in space, looking evil and angry, and add tags like 4K and ultra realistic to get a more realistic result. Then I'll wait for the image to generate. After trying a few times, I ended up with some great results. I particularly like this one, so I'll go ahead and download it. But the problem is that the image isn't very high quality, so I'll need to use the popular Leonardo AI to upscale it and make it look much better. I'll log into my account and choose the upscaling option. From there, I'll upload my image, reduce the creativity strength and click on upscale. After a short wait, my image will be ready. While the difference might not be huge, it definitely makes an improvement in the end. But before we continue, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Pixels. They make it super easy for both content creators and thumbnail designers to create stunning YouTube thumbnails using AI. Just input a brief description of your video and their AI generates high quality, eye catching thumbnails that can boost your click through rates and viewer engagement. Check out the link in the description to learn more about pixels and support the channel. All right, now let's dive back in. The next step will be creating a document in Photoshop with the usual size of 1280 by 720. I'll then drag and drop the upscaled image into the document, resize it a bit and center it in the middle. Next, I'll use the website remove.be to remove the background from the image. This way, we'll have the space on one layer and Mickey Mouse on another. The AI didn't do a great job, so I'll need to fix certain areas manually using the pen tool. Once that's done, I select the background layer, desaturate it a bit and darken it so Mickey Mouse stands out more in the thumbnail. To make him even clearer, I'll select his layer, open the camera raw filter and make a few small adjustments to help everything pop even more. Once that's done, I'll drag and drop a fire asset I found online, resize it a bit and change its blending mode to screen so it blends seamlessly into the thumbnail. To make the thumbnail look even more epic, I'll duplicate the same overlay and place it in front of Mickey Mouse to add some depth. Here, I noticed that Mickey Mouse isn't standing out very well after adding the fire, so I need to add a drop shadow behind him to make him more prominent. I'll also add a matrix overlay for more detail. I'm not entirely sure why, but I think it will make the thumbnail look nicer. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, please like and subscribe. It'll help me hire an editor and make more videos for you. If you want to support me, liking the video and sharing it with friends or on social media would be really appreciated. Now, let's get back to the thumbnail. The next step is to add some scars to Mickey Mouse's face. This will make him look more sinister and add a scary vibe to the thumbnail. If you want to make it even more intense, you can add a hue and saturation layer and paint some red veins in his eyes. It's not absolutely necessary, but it's a nice detail to consider for the thumbnail. I might remove it later though. To add more drama, I'll apply a vignette effect here. For the text, we'll use a website called Font Meme. I believe I've mentioned it in a previous video. This site lets you generate cool fonts without needing to download anything. You just type in your text, adjust the color and size, and then copy and paste it directly into your thumbnail. For the text, I'll split it into two parts, one on the right and one on the left, to create better balance in the thumbnail. Next, I'll add a drop shadow and some glow to the text to make it stand out more. Finally, I'll apply this screen texture to the text to enhance its appearance. This can make the text look more interesting and textured, but be mindful that it might also make it harder to read if overdone. Balancing it well can add a nice touch without compromising legibility. To help everything blend together, I'll add a camera raw filter to the thumbnail. I'll increase the texture, adjust the saturation and tweak the colors until it looks just right. For added texture, I'll apply a high pass effect at the end. Finally, I'll export the thumbnail and send it to the client. And that's it. 
That's how I created the thumbnail. The client loved it and I'm really happy with the result too. As mentioned, all the assets will be in the description for you to grab. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.